Hi guys, it's me, Christy. So I am back for another quick video. I need to make some more granola. I know that I did one last week, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. I have a few other ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own granola. Super, super easy, only takes a couple of minutes. So we're at 16, 18 seconds now. I have some oats in here, just regular oats. I'm going to also add some organic raw sunflower seeds in here however much you want for your texture, you know, nothing, uh, nothing that you don't want, just as little or as much as you desire. And then I'm going to add some walnuts and I'm going to add some dried cherries and some golden raisins. And then I'm going to add some coconuts. and some dried cherries. You know how I like my dried cherries. And I'm also going to throw in a little bit of honey and a little bit of uh, Vermont maple syrup. This was sent to me from my dear friend Jean McRae who is with Bloods Catering in Vermont, Oregon. I mean, excuse me, Vermont, USA. Apologize for that. I am in Oregon. So we're gonna add a little bit of the maple syrup on here. Give it a yummy, delicious flavor, not flavor, not too much. And then I'm also gonna add some seasoning to that. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. And I want this to be a little sweeter. Normally I don't do these different kinds of seasonings in here, but today it sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg in here and a little bit of ginger too. So cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Those things are all good for you. And then I'm also gonna add a pinch of Himalayan pink sea salt because uh, the salt will help uh, enhance the flavors that are already there. There's something amazing with the chemistry that happens and they work together very well. So on this one, I am going to use my hand and I'm going to mix, or I mean a, a tool instead of my hand, and mix this all together so that you guys can see what I have going here. Okay, and once I've got this thoroughly mixed, I feel comfortable with that, I am going to put that on my cookie sheet. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put oil on my cookie sheet so that it doesn't stick. There's nothing worse than having your granola stick to the pan, right? All right, oil that up so that nothing sticks. I'm sure whoever's washing the dishes in the house will appreciate you doing this as well. So I've got that nice and greased and then I'm just gonna take my granola and put it right on top of here. And it's all mixed together. Just like that, spread this out nice and evenly because you're gonna flip this a couple of times while it's uh, baking so that it, it doesn't stick to the pan, but then to uh, toss it so that it stays even in color. And then once I get this cooked about halfway through, I'm gonna add a little bit more maple syrup and some uh, local raw honey from uh, Lehman B Acres in Boring, Oregon. Always use your local organic honey. It helps you with your allergies for the pollens in your area. So there's the granola. It's gonna go into the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to toss it and put some um, honey on there and a little bit more maple and put it back in for about 10 minutes. So there you go. Uh, we were at 4 minutes and 32 seconds. We started at 18 seconds. So I just show you how to make a granola in less than four and a half minutes. All right, guys, much love and gratitude from Christy and Goddess Gallery. Eat your granola.